Hi and welcome back to Kitty Place in Hurry the Earth Quest of the Orb, or Quest for the Orb that is. We are here in the Tinker's Lodge after having been accepted as an honorary member of the Tinkers, Tinkerer's Guild. And we are currently talking with Unit, who, whom we are going to ask a question. If I speak a little slower, I might actually speak clear enough to be un to be eligible. No, eligible. What was the word? Understandable. Yeah, damn it. Words. I want to sound. Uh, I, I want to sound fancy by using fancy words, and it's too late. It's half past ten in the evening. Anywho, we're going to ask Unit now how to repair our light catcher. Oh, one who knows all, I bow to you. Correct. What? Bending of torso at waist and lowering until perpendicular with thin surface, returning to original position, correctly identified as bow. <laughs> I told you we don't always understand him. We were wondering if you could identify these. Composition of object. Amorphous inorganic mixture of silicates formed by a fusion of silica and oxides of boron, with potassium as a flux and lime as a stabilizer. But what does it do? Objects do nothing. They are inanimate. <laughs> That's correct. Can you tell us how to make another? State origin of plants. It is part of an instrument called a light catcher. Term light catcher unknown. Further information required. It uh, brings things far away, near. Insufficient information. It goes inside of a tube. Insufficient information. <laughs> They're not used talking with a computer. What more information does Little Ball need? Unit requires proper identification of glass apparatus, or alternate name for instrument of origin. And all I know is it's from a light catcher. There is no reference in memory files to the term light catcher. Hmm. So much for the one who knows all. Well, we don't know enough as it seems. Perhaps light catcher is not the proper name. You could be right. If the apparatus is as old as you say it is, the one may know it by a different name. Then there must be a record of it. Those records would be ancient. Where would they be? If anyone has records going back that far, it would be the rats. <sighs> back to the rats. Yeah, no, the disc is blinking because uh, we couldn't save in the middle of the episode. That's the you haven't saved since you haven't saved since the thirty minutes bell. So I just dismissed it by saving. Yeah, back to the rats. It is. I think that's again a bit stretching the game time by making you go back and forth. On the other hand, that's basically what these games are. And it is a story that's being told. Who are you? Who are you? I'm the dog. I'm me. Maybe they want you to um, memorize this labyrinth enough, en enough, enough. I think I already went this way last time, this wrong way. Making the same mistakes again and again, that's me. <laughs> I 
So once you get stuck in a wall, yeah, that, that's the library I guess I, I went through. Once you get stuck in a wall, you need to click again. Um, as, as long as you're walking, you can just keep the left mouse button pressed. And it'll just, uh, you, you'll just walk on forever. Let me try if it can... No, I can't. It's it's only point and click. I can't move with the with the arrow keys. That would be kind of neat. That's something I can do in Albion, which I'll also play. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to play it in German or English, though. I made this way perfectly. We must find out what this confounded thing is before we continue. It is like no glass I have ever seen, but the pieces fit together to form a circle. So I see. I have seen something like this before. When I was young, I was sent to study ruins believed left by the humans. Where is that book? The, the sign out front read a and contained the most wondrous things. One of them was a huge round tube with glass of differing thickness throughout it. Was it a light catcher? Not exactly. From what I understood, it was more of a light bender. But it made the stars seem close enough to touch. Ah, I remember. It was called a telescope and the piece of glass called a lens. I will return to the orb and see if it recognizes tele tele scope telescope and lens. I am in your debt, Francis. I really like this. You know, th them not knowing what it is, and then him struggling to to remember the name because it's a word he never heard before. It's just so relatable. It seems so real. It feels real like of course granted or, or taken you have your suspension of, of disbelief activated right but it's so believable that's something I really love about this game so let's head back come on I want to go back to the ferrets and get the telescope and this room was the right room. And I always... Who are you? Who are you? I'm... Who? I... Who? Who is he? Uh, what? That's my nickname! And back to the Tinker's Lodge. Tell us about the lens. Accessing. Correct. Item is a lens with a refractive index of 1.52. Lens conforms to formula 1 over F times quantity N minus 1 times quantity 
1 over R1 minus 1 over R2, where N is the refractive index of the glass, R1 the radius, F is focal point, and R2 the radius of the second surface. As you see, this game even teaches you physics. Can you tell us how to make another? State origin of glass. Telescope. It's a lens from a telescope. Theoretically possible to make if specifications followed exactly. Glassmaster, can you do it? I'll do what I can. Very well, unit. Suppose you and I get to work. Glassmaster, what news have you? Have you been successful? Well, yes and no. I like the first part best. <laughs> I was able to construct the lens from the instructions given by Unit. However, it is still too rough. Unit says I need polishing rouge to polish the lens to its proper smoothness. But I have none. Is there anything we can use as a substitute? Not to my knowledge. I am unfamiliar with the use of rouge. Friend Saka, what is your opinion? Perhaps there is a substitute we can use for polishing rouge. But we're not even sure what polishing rouge is. We certainly don't know what to substitute for it. Perhaps the one who knows all can tell us. Yeah, excuse me, Orb. Unit functioning. Unit, we have no polishing rouge. Is there anything we can substitute for it? Qualities and properties of rouge can only be duplicated by soil composed solely of red clay, which is ground into the finest powder. Clay must be pure and free of any chunks. Any imperfection in the substance will result in damage to glass. Then we may be doomed. I know of no clay. Hmm. Where can we find red clay? Well... Oh. The one who knows all should know, right? They know all. And where can we find this pure red clay? Location unknown. Unknown? Pockets are known to exist in this area, but exact locations are unknown. Glassmaster, any ideas? Fine red clay. I wouldn't know where to find it. Saka, do you know where the clay might be? I have no idea. Does anyone know where to find the clay? Ia, can you think of any place for red clay? No, I can't. I can't remember red clay anywhere we've been. Neither can I. Except in the Boar King's mud bath. What? <laughs> Why didn't he say Yes, that? that's what the Boar King uses to make his special mud. Finely ground red clay. Do you mean that I was up to my waist in red clay and didn't even know it? No. No! What will you do now? The last time we saw the Boar King, we barely escaped with our lives. We dare not try it again. What will you do? The only thing we can do. Go back to the Boar, step into his clay bath, and be in it. I mean, you know that phenomenon, you're taking a bath and suddenly, like you're in the bathtub and suddenly your bladder says, hey, I'm full. And before that, you just, you just went and then you go into the warm bath and then your bladder says, you need to go again. Really annoying. You step out of the bath, go into the toilet, get everything wet because you're dripping with water or you need to dry up first, then your towel is already wet when you when you are done bathing. Ugh, such a hassle. Hey! Well, if it isn't the little thief again! I wonder what he wants this time. <laughs> well, I see our presence here is not appreciated. We shall have to take our truffle news elsewhere. Wait! Truffle news? That's right. In our journey, a field rich with truffles was found by the eagle nose of our friend Ock. Eagle nose? 
whatever. We thought that we would share this news with the boar king. After all, there are more than enough truffles in this field to provide everyone in the castle with a sumptuous repast. A lot of truffles! Oh yes, a whole field full of them. But with the reception we've received, I don't think I care to share that information. Oh, you must forgive me. I've had a very bad day. I'm sure the king will want to hear of this immediately. <laughs> very well. Open the gate. Go ahead, Riff. Okay, so this time we trick them in another way. Well, the same trick doesn't work twice, right? Your Majesty, it is the Fox Riff. He requests an audience with you. A fox? He just doesn't learn, does he? Very well, send him in. It will amuse me. Your Majesty? Tempting fate, my young foolish friend! Why are you here? I was going to come in here and beg for mercy. I was going to plead for clemency. I was going to grovel at your feet and appeal to you for the release of my friend. I was going to strip myself of every vestige of dignity I have left for your pleasure. But now, I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> nice. Did I miss something? <laughs> oh, nice. It just goes in. Yeah, I was going to do this and that and that, but I'm not going to flip out again. Uh. But by the way, they're using very big words, words that I don't even... <laughs> I haven't heard them before. So let's see if we can get the lens. Give the mud to the glassmaster. Of course he needs to clean the fur out of the mud. This is excellent. Exactly what unit requested. So this is the lens. It's beautiful. Back to Tycho North Boy it is. I guess he knew how long it would take because he had to do this and that and this again. Hello, sir. Ah, it's you. I was beginning to think I'd never see you again. That thought crossed our minds several times as well. Well, did you do it? Did you fix my light catcher? That I did, sir. Wonderful, wonderful. How I've longed to see my beloved horizon. The stars, the moon. Oh, how can I ever thank you? by fulfilling your part of the bargain. Yes, we want the map. Of course, of course, it's right here. In fact, I've only now finished it. A traveler was through a couple of days ago. He was from the north and was on his way back there. He gave me a great deal of information, which I've included on this map. How fortunate. Yes, in fact, he was quite forthcoming with his information. For a raccoon. A raccoon? That's right, a big fellow too. I told him about your quest, and he was quite interested in it. That's when he started giving me all the information. Tycho, can you remember which additions you made from the raccoon's information? Why, yes I can. Kindly remove them from the map. 
This information I do not trust. The trail is warmer than we thought. It's ready. We've not a moment to waste. Let us be off. Let's see where we are. So this is our starting area. And this is the rest of the map. Very well then. We have the map, fresh provisions, and a noble purpose. What more could we possibly ask for? Mud! <laughs> I promise that upon the completion of our mission, you shall swim in the sea to your heart's content. Now then, let us be off. No, oh, there is a bunny servant. Wait, you are Riff, are you not? Of that I plead guilty. Who are you? I am servant to Alara, High Priestess of the Orb of Storms. She has sent me here with a most solemn request. If it is within my power to help Ilara, I shall gladly do so. News has reached her that you are bound for the Wildlands. She asks that you deliver this letter to her sister, Alana. Ilara has a sister in the Wildlands? Yes. Alama was always the adventurer of the two. Quite a loner. When she was quite young, she chose to live in seclusion in the Wildlands. They have not seen each other in many years. But how shall I find her? We do not know. Perhaps she will have to find you. At any rate, if you can find her, Alara will be most grateful. Well, I am happy to be of service. Tell Ilara I will try to make the delivery. There we have the letter. Let us make haste, fellows. Our quarry beckons, and we must answer. And now, as you can see, the map starts scrolling. Oh, I forgot. I forgot about this part. Who goes there? I am Riff of the Fox Tribe and Associates. We seek passage. And passage you shall have. All you have to do is pay the toll. Us? Pay you? Dog must have gotten a hold of a bad bone. <laughs> By whose authority is this highway robbery allowed to happen? Prince. Prince who? Prince, that's it, just Prince. He's our leader. Ringleader, you mean. <laughs> and this Prince expects us to give him money just to pass through? It's either that, or you do not pass at all. On the other hand, Prince is very fond of amusement. I'm sure that if you told him but a few humorous stories, he would not only grant you safe passage, but make you his honored guests as well. Not bad. A few jokes and we're out of here. Do you think you can come up with some humorous stories? Are you joking? I'll have him rolling on the floor. Take us to this <laughs> prince. We'll teach him what amusement is all about. Right this way. I'm bored. Bored. Something to do. Oh, let's do something. We could go chase wagons along the road. Maybe you could throw me a stick and I could bring it back. No, no. Today, I feel like howling. I haven't had a good howl in a long time. Hey, everyone, how about a good howl? <laughs> Courtyard or oh! Wow, that feels great. But now I am bored again. My prince, there are three travelers at the gate who wish passage. Did you say travelers? That's right. They say they're on their way to the wildlands. Well, bring them in. Enter! Welcome, welcome, my friend. To whom have I the pleasure of addressing? I am Riff of the Fox Tribe. These are my associates. Lieutenant Ia of the Guard of the Forest King. And Sergeant Ock of the Boar Tribe. We seek passage to the Wildlands. But we must respectfully decline your request for a toll. 
I see. Well, my needs are small, and a bit of amusement is certainly worth as much as money to me. Then perhaps I could entertain you with some amusing stories. Very well. You may proceed. Good evening, ladies and germs. <laughs> This dog walks into a pub with a waterfowl under his arm. I know, I was talking to the waterfowl. <laughs> that is a very old story. I'm afraid you'll have to do better than that. A woodchuck and his wife walk into a pub. That was no opossum, that was my wife. Please. I'm going to have to try a different approach with this. Okay, here's one I'll wager you haven't heard. Once there was a merchant. He was the richest merchant in the land, and he lived alone in a huge house. The merchant was very old, and as he lay on his deathbed, he gathered all of his business associates around him. He looked up, and with his dying breath said, Rosebud is his sled. <laughs> <laughs> it seems that you have neither paid the toll, nor have you managed to amuse me. My, my, this is a disappointment. And then we will be on our way and bother you no more. Au contraire. You will yet provide me with amusement. Only this time it will be on my terms. Cards? What? Take our guests to the dungeon until I decide what to do with them. Ow! What happened? Apparently, Prince really didn't like that last story. Where are we? We're either in the dungeon... ...or the worst inn in the world. <laughs> okay, now what... what do we have to work with here? We have the cell door. I think I'll need the key. And we can't just open it. Okay. And there is the wood, a wooden bowl. I guess for food. It's definitely empty. Stone bench. That's where we're going to sleep. Oh, a loose stone block. This brick looks loose. If I just had something to dig it out with. It's definitely empty. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe if I make some noise <clears throat> and demand food. <coughs> Did someone call me? Is everything all right? I like my prisoners. They're all my friends. Please, let me be your friend. Would, would you like me to get you something? How about some food? Fetch us some food. I can do that. I can get you food. You wait, just wait, and I'll bring you good food. Here it is. Here's the food. Are we supposed to eat this with our hands? Oh, no. No hands. Just stick your face right in. <laughs> I don't think so. A spoon? I've heard of those. I think we have one in the museum. I'll go get it. You just wait. He's also not the brightest bulb. Here you go. I think this is a spoon. Do you like it? Is, is it a good one? You really love your job, don't you? We don't want anything more. You can go now. What's the matter? Don't you like me? Have I done something wrong? No, no, we like you. You've been a good jailer. Good jailer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you later then, all right? Good boy. <laughs> so let's dig our way I'll through. I'll try this. Hey, it's working! The mortar's coming out! Do you think you've removed enough mortar to get the brick out? 
We shall know very shortly, my friend. One, two, three, push! <clears throat> One, two, three, push! This doesn't do any good. Hmm. Maybe digging some more? I'll try this. Hey, it's work. The mortals. Do you think we shall know? Hmm. Maybe open. One. This does. Hmm. Maybe Ock is strong enough. No, we can't talk to Ock. It will take all of us to remove that block. Yeah. That is no way to eat this stuff. Uh, maybe. Ah, yeah, maybe. I feel strangely stronger, but. Ugh, what a taste. The food makes you stronger, and I guess it makes you strong enough to open. to, to, to push away the block. Yeah, that's point and One, click adventure two, logic. Three. Push! One, two, three, push! That's it! At last, do you see anything in there? Well, he might not see anything in there, and we're not seeing either this time, because even though the disc isn't flashing, we're already past the 30 minute mark, which means it's now upon the dice to decide the fate. The fate being how many days it'll take until the next episode comes out. And what's behind that tunnel or in that tunnel, we will see then. So, fare thee well, until later, bye bye.